I went into this experiment wanting to be married, you know, like, although I didn't believe I would find marriage, the desire to be married is there. There is so much to talk about. I just need to know for you, how has it been watching this all play out? It's like I'm a fly on the wall for my own life. And I would say that I'm looking at it in a sense of it's like watching tape as an athlete. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, doing right. things I could do to get better. And I'm just taking it from a humbling perspective of things I could do differently. And I think that's the right way to look at it. I'm sure there are a couple of things that you wish you did differently. The one thing I'm taking away from this show, because I came off as authentically myself, that there needs to be a little bit toned down from the delivery. The delivery needs to be a little bit polished, a little bit better. I don't know if you saw this, but AD called you a walking red flag. Yeah. Is that looking, I know you're doing a lot of self-reflection. Do you think you were a walking red flag? I don't think so. I do think that in life, you do have family trauma that comes about. Um, and I do think that I'm a work in progress. And I, and I do believe that everybody's a work in progress. I pretty much came in and just wanted to let people know I'm not perfect. But I have a lot of things going for myself. So even with the red flag conversation, it's like, Let's kind of tone that down a lot because a lot of men would love to be in my position and the things that I've, I've done, you know, the right. things that I've been able to accomplish. I'm really happy about that. And I'm very well grounded. I have so much support and I'm really happy with the support system that I was able to grow over these years. You can't be a red flag and have, you know, just so many blessings come to your life. I would say the biggest issue is that in relationships, I need work on, you know, like I came from a little bit of a, uh, you know, everything working well in my life and I didn't really focus on the relationship aspect. So I do the show to build an emotional connection. Then I realize, okay, I'm doing all this work in my life and in my job and my entrepreneurship, my business, I need to put the work in, in my relationship. So I think mm. that was a little bit of the underlying uh, message that I was trying to give off. You were very open about your dad and his passion past like infidelity trips I would imagine that was probably hard for you to bring up knowing that this was also going to be shown your mom would have seen it it wasn't easy it's something that we're actually dealing with now um, because you know even with my dad it's been tough for him to for me to even have that conversation with him and really just kind of get to the root of it and kind of let him understand of you know some of the actions that he did when we were younger you know plays an effect and how I date now, you know, even Lauren, I didn't even know those stuff played a role into my dating and really until I did mm. this show. So I get the whole knowledge of like, oh, he's a red flag, he's a red flag. I honestly was just trying to, you know, be the best version of myself. And I realized that I had problems. And I just wanted to articulate that to my partner. It really was no ill will. It really wasn't me trying to hurt anybody's feelings. It was just me trying to let my partner know transparently, like, hey, this is where I'm coming from. You also told her that you're nervous, you're scared that you're not going to be faithful with her. Have you cheated in the past? Uh, I haven't cheated. I've, you know, I've had moments where I, I guess you could say you, you a situation shit where the girl really loves you and you cheated. I haven't cheated on anybody that I actually claimed as my girlfriend. So I, I, I don't want to say I'm a cheater. Um, I think that for me, whenever I date, I'm very honest. If I feel as though that I'm not feeling in a relationship and cheating could happen, I would typically let the person know that, hey, I don't think we're going on the right path and I would end the relationship. I'm not a proponent of cheating, you know, and that's why marriage is a big thing for me because I don't want to get a divorce. And I understand that infidelity causes divorces. So for me, I just don't want to follow the same patterns that my family went down. So cheating is a big deal. And I wanted to make sure that there was no if, ands, and buts when going into this marriage. The end goal of this show is to get married. Because, you know, you keep saying, I'm scared to get married. I'm scared for this. Did you know going into the show, okay, maybe I just won't get married? No, I thought that, well, my beginning when I joined the show, my intention was really to build an emotional connection. I didn't think that I, I was capable of really... I was going to find love on the other side. I didn't think I would, you know, and I did. And I was like, okay, this is amazing. Um, but in terms of the marriage thing, I went into this experiment wanting to be married, you know, like, although I didn't believe I would find marriage, the desire to be married is there. Like it's still here to this day. I want a family. I would love to have a wife. I think for me though, Lauren, was that I wasn't focused on finding a wife. I was more so focused in my regular life 
of being the best person I could be and also getting my business up and also controlling the things that I could control. I wasn't really putting in the work relationship wise, which is why a lot of the fears came out on camera because before this, I wasn't dating seriously, you know, mm. I, I wasn't putting in the work. I wasn't going to therapy. So it's almost like a test that you think you're preparing for. And then you get there and you're like, oh, damn, I don't know the answers to this question. And it was a very simple and genuine thing. And I definitely expressed a lot of pessimism towards myself, which I, you know, I need to talk more grace and grace into my relationships, which is something that I'm working on and speaking light into it. But I did think that at, at the end of this, I'll be able to find marriage. 